her name is? Linda. Linda. That's the ABD. I told you I had her. So Linda, as you can see, has a few things going on. Her hair is very, very dehydrated. And if you had to guess, Linda, what texture category you in, what would you say? I'd say 4C, 4B. She said a 4C, 4B. So let's look at that chart again. So we talked about the four different categories, one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. And the subcategories are A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? A is fine, B is medium, and C is coarse. Yeah, what, <laughs> what that means? But once she gets moisturized, she might not be what she thinks. Come on, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once you get hydrated, it may not be what you think it is. Okay? Um, because it has it's now it's just empty. It's empty. Um, you guys hear about porosity tests and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of people. Anyway, so I thought that they work. So let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, if I take her hair right now the way it is, mm -hmm. empty, and I put it in water, it's gonna float. Think about a sponge. That's not a sponge yeah. has holes in it, right? If I take a dry sponge and stick it in a bucket of water, what's it gonna do? It's gonna float. If I fill it up with water, what's it gonna do? It's going to be going to water. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing over here. Anybody want to feel it? No, can't people feel it? Yeah, that can Anybody feel it. I want you guys to feel it. We were yeah, interacting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Don't feel it, seriously. But it's the whole time. It's not going out. Did you shampoo your hair? I would like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> I So the subcategories are going to determine how do you determine whether a person's hair is A, B, or C? Okay, and this needs to be accurately understood. If you take one strand from my head, one from hers, one from hers, and you hold them up, literally fine texture would be likened to, uh, and I want you guys to visualize a spider web. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then medium, which is B, would be like it more to a piece of thread. Mm -hmm. And then C, if you had to think about it, would be like a piece of yarn. Mm -hmm. So one is really fine, one is medium, and one is coarse. Okay. C, okay, thicker strand of hair. All right, so in understanding that, it kind of puts things in perspective, like, wait a minute, okay, maybe my hair is, you know, not what I thought it was, okay? Because people are like, I must be Z, is, what's the worst one? Mine is that. It's not, it's not, it's not a combination of things that cause, causes the issues, okay? So, I want to talk about that. When you have a fine strand of hair, like people look at my hair like, oh my God, your hair is so thick, I love it. But my hair is actually very fine. My Just strands are fine. Oh, look, you yeah. can't see them for all yeah, yeah. One strand. It's really super skinny. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I forgot I had one in my hand. It, it jumped out. <laughs> okay? Which means that when you do certain things to a fine, like a spider web, they're very delicate, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to think about fine hair like that. And when I'm approaching someone's hair, I can't go in and just put flat irons in their heads right. and say, I'm going to still press you out because I do natural hair. Mm -hmm. No. No, you're about to cause a major problem with that person. They're going to do more breakage and it'll be just like they never did go down from the first That's place. Right. Okay? So my strands, my fine hair cannot be dealt with uh, roughly. I have to use my hands. Mm -hmm. I can't use combs and things on my hair in that manner. Okay? Put your hands in there just like this. I want you to say, my hands are the best tools I can ever use my, on my, my hair. My hands are the best tools I can ever use on my hair. Look at them, love them. You know, if, if you don't have hands, I'm sorry that I just said that. But the thing is that, get your friends in and use theirs. You gotta be careful out there. I'm not trying to be funny, I'm not trying to be funny out there, but if you don't have hands, get your friends in and let them use it, okay? Whatever you eat, whatever you do. But don't use the comb, is what I'm trying to say to you. Use your hands. Yes. I got yeah. So you notice how I'm just kind of parting her hair along. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing this because I want to be able to um, control what's going on with her hair. I don't want to break it off and snap it off, okay? The very first product that I created, created was called Whisper Whip, and that's this bottle right here. It's a big bottle of love, okay? I am selling it on my booth, and they were going really fast. I'm just telling you that. What one is that? Okay. Um, this is... <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful tool, okay? I started learning that 
Um, when, I, when I realized that hydration was where we wanted to go, this was created out of love and for necessity for myself to be able to get through a person's hair without tearing your hair off. Mm -hmm. Because I also realized that your hair is going every day from your scalp, mm -hmm. except for when the super resting phases. Mm -hmm. But it's breaking off on the ends just as fast, which keeps our hair from sure. actually retaining mm -hmm. its full potential right. length. Right. Okay? How much time do you have? Okay, and the rest of it we can do at my booth. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. we're gonna follow you. Okay, okay. Ooh, that works. <laughs> follow you. <laughs> All right, so I'll go on this side. And if you can, I'm sure you can hear me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you hold this bottle, okay? Okay. What I'm doing is actually putting uh, this whisper whip in her hair, and I'm gonna use my fingers to gently massage it a little bit, but I'm also going to pull it out. I'm mm -hmm. using my fingers. What you guys are gonna notice is that her hair starts to really wake up, and it's going to also get longer. Okay. Okay. This is important. Whisper Whip, the very first ingredient in Whisper Whip is water. Okay. The reason why I'm going on to her dry hair is because her hair, remember we said it has layers that respond to certain things? Mm -hmm. When the water hits her hair, that shaft starts to open up, and then the conditioning agents and oils are able to go into the layers of the hair. Okay. So that's what's happening with it. So you'll see her hair start to oh, wow. wake up, then it's going to curl up. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And if you want to smell it or feel it, you can do that. Oh, good. Well, you can smell it. And then I can't smell it. It's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just from me massaging her hair, and I'm not using my fingernails. I'm going past my fingernails, squeezing and, and stretching out like this. I like to teach these techniques to people because it's beneficial mm -hmm. long term for you, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your great grandchildren. We've been taught the wrong way to do it for eons. Yeah. So now it's time to pass on the right way. That's right. So That's the self esteem right. can go up and people That's can feel right. good about their hair. Mm -hmm. what, what's in that stuff that you put on? It's a, it's a conditioner base with essential oils and all of the ingredients on the side. These glasses aren't real. I will read them to you. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any lids. <laughs> oh my goodness. She just put a finger down. No, 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 it's funny when I'm talking to people and I just scratch my eye right now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he didn't have any lens. <laughs> so you can leave this in. Oh, you read it. You got glasses. I just gave mine. <laughs> no, I got Who got glasses? Give it to her. Whoever got the 2020 vision. Whoever's not 40, read it. <laughs> They're 40 ever been You said that? Right. Yes. So, All right. Ingredients water, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter oil, Jehovah oil, keratin, enzymes. That word is called hope. Uh, Oh, jojoba, I'm sorry. I'm glad you told me because I'm just saying that jojoba oil. Jojoba oil. Jojoba rubbing your hands together, you'll feel water on your hands. Mm. And I'll let you guys feel that when we get over to the booth. Okay. But right now, whoever come and came and felt her hair originally, I want you to come and feel it now. And see what's up. You feel your own hair. You live with it. Yes, no. You feel it. <laughs> Ten times. Like, when do, when yes. do you use a comb? No. Ever? Do you? The only time I use a comb is when it's in a position for me to use a comb. Think about what a comb does. A comb does this. Uh -huh. Cool. So if I flat iron my hair like on you, I may use a comb on your hair. It's already straight now. However, if I've gone through and detangled her hair and I'm holding it in a straight position, I may take a comb and yeah. part it. But it's got to be used in a certain manner. So after you wash and everything, you detangle with your fingers? I detangle with my fingers first, and I continue to detangle with everything I do. Everything. If you're going to wear hair natural, this massage motion, hair has memory. So this motion right here is actually turning her hair and helping her hair to elongate, to define out, and do what needs to take place. 
So her hair has been really, really dried out just from color and, you know, um, whatever. Part of that is that, but also the pick or comb, whatever she used to, you know, style her hair with, that has actually caused the hairs. And each individual hair has a curl pattern. Mm -hmm. So when they separate, they actually curl back in on each other and curl, create more of an afro effect, which is not bad if that's what you want. But if you want more curl definition, you have to literally train your hair to do that. Okay, my time is up. Yeah, five minutes. Huh. Is this a daily product? Um, it can be used daily. However, you don't have to. You can use it um, as needed. Like for me, I co-washed my hair two weeks ago. Oh, really? And then I put a little bit in my hair, you know, from time to time. But I, I usually uh, use the lock method. I have some of my other products over there. I have the Argonne Deluxe and the Macadamia Deluxe. What I do with those products are basically maintenance. So I have my shampoos, which... Um, shampoo and conditioner, which I use after you get a build up of product on your hair. Then you use that as your clarifier, which mm -hmm. is meaning like a reset to start over. <clears throat> and then you go in, condition it, and you go back in with your whisper with treatment. Okay. Okay, so you only have to use your shampoo. shampoo. Huh? How often do you do the clarifying shampoo? Maybe like once uh, every two months, once a month. You really don't use it that often. But if you're going to use it, I do recommend the ones that I have. The reason why is because of the, the levels of argon oil and macadamia oil that are in it. And you can actually see it's really thick and you don't have to use a whole lot. Go ahead. Um, so you don't have to shampoo it all that you just stay? You can let this stay. You see what's happening to her hair right now? It looks so much better. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Even from the color and all of that. And just using your fingers. And how much is that a month? $20. Yeah. 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 Literally, your hair sheds about 100 strands every day, right? Mm -hmm. If you go in with a comb at any point, you're actually literally causing split ends on the end of your hair. Because mm -hmm. if you think about one strand of hair as being blunt like this, when you comb it, it's still curly, but it snaps off, it causes a frayed end, and they still curl each other. Now, that becomes a trap for your shed hair. Yeah. So the shed hair starts to come up and it gets entangled into the ends of your split ends, mm -hmm. which causes fairy knots. It's time for a trim. Mm -hmm. oh. If you don't want a fairy knot, stop combing your hair mm -hmm. so much and use your fingers. And then that way you don't have to get trimmed as often. Mm -hmm. Last, in, in 2015, what was it? What year is it? 17? 16. December of 2015, my hair was, I cut my hair off like that short. It was like down here. Mm -hmm. And then I cut it off to about like that short just to wear it curly. It was already natural, but I just wanted to, you know, no flattering and stuff like that. I'm going out this time with no heat. And I've been doing it. And I haven't had a trim since I cut it. And wow. my hair, like, if you pull it down here, pull my hair down. Mm -hmm. And that's just like since that December, not this little past one, but the one before that. 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so you don't have to get it trimmed as often. Go ahead. You mentioned that you do the lock method. Uh -huh. So liquid oil cream. Liquid oil cream what's, or LCO. Either what, one. I was say, what's the benefit of doing an oil before a cream? Oil um, you know what? I've seen it work both ways. Mm -hmm. Uh, it just really depends on person to person. Again, your natural is your natural. If LCO works better for you, I say go for that one. You know, and it, a lot of times it depends on the moisture level of the hair. You know, some people are going in doing LOC because they're, you know, they're just finding that it holds on to it better. Um, I know a lot of my 4C textures did the LOC and it worked out better for them. I myself, I can do a liquid cream and then an oil, you know, and it works just fine. Yeah. And it, sometimes it depends on the products that you're using. But you guys see how her hair is now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shake your hair up. Shake it, shake it. Mm -hmm. She's got more length than mm -hmm. she thought. Or it has movement. more length, and it yeah. just literally woke up like a tree. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So is it still true that we still should put something silky on our pillow or on your head? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what happens when you don't do that? You lose moisture. Yeah. Cotton. If you take a cotton ball and stick it into the moisture, mm -hmm. liquid. Where's the liquid going to be? In the cotton ball. Mm -hmm. So whatever moisture you put in your hair, if you're sleeping on a cotton pillowcase, it's going to suck the moisture right. out of your hair, mm -hmm. and your hair will be dry. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cotton pillowcases are for category one, folks. Um, 
Tendai, um, when it comes to trimming your ends, do you have to blow dry your hair in order to trim, or can no, you? You guys are gonna love my Facebook page. I do videos on all this stuff. Okay. Yeah, and I go live like every day. Okay. And we can talk and stuff. Yes. Her question, I'm gonna get right to you. Her question was, Tendai, do you have to blow dry your hair in order to trim your ends? The answer is no. <coughs> and especially if you're a person who's wearing your hair curly, mm -hmm. there's not, it's not necessary. See, the thing is, is that some curls ha hang longer than others. So when you go in and you trim your hair for precision, you blow dry your hair out and you cut it and trim it for precision, when you wet it again, it's not gonna look the way you want it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like, okay, because it's cut for a straight hair, precision. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, like with her hair, I asked her to shake it out so I can see where her curls are gonna lie naturally. And I literally see there's little pieces that need to be snipped, but you know, she can make that work for her. Mm -hmm. You know, depends on how, how her, her, she wants her hair to look. So you can cut for style or you can cut for precision. You can cut for curl or for precision. Okay. I should say, question here. Do you, do you have to put any other type of oil to your scalp? Are you putting that on the hair? Does that so that scalp, the whole oil in your scalp thing. Don't you don't you clog the pores? You know even more. It depends on which oil you put. Now I oil my scalp sometimes. Sometimes you know I think back before he did people did it more so more often, but. I would say the way the products are designed, I haven't had to really do that because the, pro the shampoo conditioner actually have argon oil in it. The whisper room has oil in it. So you're literally kind of massaging and working it in there anyway. It's more so about protecting the end. So to answer your question, if you decide to roll your scalp, make sure it's something light. And, you know, it's okay. It's not going to hurt it. So your product is so good, the shampoo works well with also the stuff you're putting on her hair all together to the point that you really don't have to put oil on your scalp a whole lot. Yeah, I feel my hair. I don't have anything in my hair except for whisk whip. You don't have any, what, what type of oil? Your oil? The here? argan oil? Okay. Yes. Oh, all these oil products oil. were designed by me. These are all products that I actually use in the salons where I go to. I actually take these products and I put them in salons. You won't find them anywhere except on my website or, you know, okay. on Amazon or wherever I put them. Okay. So, well, know. I mean, so like even somebody that lives in Denver or Colorado, they wouldn't need to put oil on their scalp every now and then? If that's the, I if mean, that's the necessity in your area, remember you're natural, you're natural, you have to build your oh, yeah. regimen that fits you. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Colorado and it's very, very, very cold, mm -hmm. you know, you want to go in with whisper whip more often and use your oils more so to keep your scalp from being tight, mm -hmm. you know? Again, you're, the atmosphere and the elements make things change, mm -hmm. you know, change mm -hmm. up. The reason why I ask that is because I've tried a lot of products, but I haven't found a product where I don't have to oil my scalp mm -hmm. almost every day. Let me ask you why you oil it. Dry, itchy, mm -hmm. sometimes it'll get too dry where it's flaking. When's the last time you had a relaxer? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I've been natural for seven years now. But you had a relaxer before? <coughs> yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. And you get dry, itchy, flaky? Stuff. Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. Same sy symptoms as a vaginal yeast infection. Right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm saying that the fungus is growing your scalp, and even if you've gone natural, over time it will still flare up. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Itchy, because the fungus yeah. is still so there. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. Some light statin cream and put it in your scalp. Go in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. get you some light yeah. statin stuff. Yeah. You don't want to put that. Or just get like a Nizoral shampoo. Yeah. If you're not trying to deal with the cream, <laughs> you can get some Nizoral and um, you can put that in your hair. Nizoral shampoo has the same, you know, mm -hmm. components. And just let it sit on your scalp for a minute, but be sure to hydrate your hair back again. You're treating your scalp, but you're also treating your hair. Your hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, mm -hmm. you push it. Go go to bed. Do you always have to braid your hair, or should no. you braid it, or can you go like that? Put your cap on. And so the reason why you don't want to start yeah. manipulating too much, like what I'm doing right now with her hair, is literally just kind of causing her hair to have definition. Shake right. your hair off. And the reason why. Go I ahead, on girl. Go ahead. Do it back. Yeah. yeah. Woo, yeah. that's pretty. The reason why I don't want to um, twist it up and things like that, it gives you a false curl pattern. Oh. Okay, and what happens is, is you, as soon as you get some water, it's going to go. Back <laughs> to where it goes. Her hair is not going back to where it goes, so she likes her texture the way it is. If we get our hair to look the way we want it to look in its natural state, then what's going to happen is it's going to stay that way. So I literally can go to bed, 
wake up in the morning, get a shower, my hair's gonna wake up like a flower, shake it out, and let it air dry, and then I'm going about my business. And wow. Business. It keeps doing the same thing because oh. it's already trained to do that. Wow. So she could train her hair. Uh, so you put this on day. You can so, do that. Okay. You have I have to your My website is www.healthyhair.solutions. Okay? www.healthyhair.solutions. Okay, and all of it, you have the cards at your, at my your booth. booth. And we're actually going to go down to the booth here um, now. And okay. If you guys need me at the booth, we'll finish our hair. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you guys so much.